Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Fozil and in today's exciting video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the nine golden rules of day traders. Doesn't matter if you trade stocks, options, futures, Forex. I believe that these fundamental rules will apply to just about any trader out there. Just to put it out there, I am a stock and options trader. I primarily day trade and swing trade here and there. This is what I do and I'm no expert. I'm not claiming that I'm an expert. Please don't take anything that I say in this video as a financial advice because I'm not a financial advisor. Everything that I share in this video are just for entertainment purposes. I've been trading for a little over seven months and during those seven months, I've learned a lot about myself and these are some of the rules based on my own experiences, my own mistakes, as well as by reading books and learning from other people's mistakes. So with that being said, hopefully you guys are excited. Let's dive right into this video. All right, guys. So the rule number one is to be pessimistic with your losers and optimistic with your winners. So this is what I mean. Every time you are in a red trade, whenever you see a red in your PL, as a beginner and amateur traders, we tend to be optimistic with our losers, which should be the opposite because you don't want to be optimistic with your losers. And I made this mistake over and over again where I hope, I would hope that it would reverse back and I would remake my profits or at least break even. Right? I was you just back hold my red all the time or even even worse, I used to average down, which you do not want to do. So what you should do is that you have to shift your mindset where you are being more optimistic with your green trades. You want to hold your winners a little bit longer and systematically scale out and take some profits and let the remaining position run because that's how you maintain a good risk to reward ratio because usually one of the biggest plays that I had was by letting my winners run because most of the time, as a beginner traders, we tend to cut our green trades quickly because we want to secure profits and we don't want to stock to reverse, but it should be really the opposite because you want to switch your mindset from being more pessimistic with your red trades and being more optimistic with your green trades and hold them a little bit longer. So the rule number two is actually do not add to your losing position. I kind of briefly mentioned that already. Please, 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 if you are a beginner or even amateur trader who does not have consistency, so for the 99% of the people out there who does not have any consistency yet, please do not add to your losing position because in the long term, you're gonna end up ruining your account or even blow your account. I've experienced that from my own uh, trading journey. I've already blew my uh, two accounts when I was a beginner. So speaking from my experience, do not add to your losing positions. A better thing to do would be to cut your losses quickly as possible whenever it reaches your stop loss. Moving on to rule number three, never enter a trade without identifying these three things. Number one, your edge. Your edge is simply whenever there is a higher probability of one thing happening over another. If you don't have an edge yet, you haven't traded enough or you haven't reviewed your trades. So you have to be able to go back to your trades, review what worked for you and identify your edge. Your edge could be mental edge, your edge could be a technical edge or anything related to that. But if you haven't identified your edge, then you haven't traded for long enough. Please review your trades and keep on trading to identify your edge instead of blowing through money. The second thing that you want to identify before you enter into a trade is actually your stop loss, meaning your risk. Your stop loss is a place where your trade idea goes wrong. That's where you want to cut your losses. Before you even enter into a trade, you have to identify exactly where you're going to exit your trade if this stock reverses. And the third thing that you want to identify before getting into a trade is your profit target. This is one of the common mistakes a lot of people do. A lot of people get into a trade and don't know when to cut their profits and they end up cutting their profits too quickly, right? You want to identify before you get into a trade profit target, but be optimistic. As I mentioned before, be optimistic with your winning trades and let your winners run and systematically take profits, meaning scale out of your positions whenever you have a green trade. Moving on to rule number four, the most important rule, never enter a trade without fully accepting your risk. What does this mean? This means that once you identify your stop loss, you can calculate how much you might potentially lose. So before you even get into a trade, make sure that you fully accept your loss. Meaning if you lose that certain percentage of your account, 
you need to be 100% okay with that because you don't want to get mentally triggered. You don't want you you don't want to get emotional when you lose a certain percentage. So make sure that risk makes sense and you fully accept your risk before you even enter into a trade. Moving on, the rule number five: never trade out of boredom. A lot of the mistake that I made in my early trading journey, I tend to just spend hours and hours in front of my screen, and if I don't trade in the first three hours or two hours. I tend to make a boredom trades. And this is one of the common reasons why a lot of people below their account. I ended up paying so much in commission since I trade stock options. Uh, there's a commission. It's not like stocks, shares where you don't pay commission. Since I had a also small account, I end up paying almost like 50% of my account for just commissions alone because I used to over trade over and over again, even when I don't see my edge, I didn't even had an edge back then. So please, please, please make it a rule for you. If you don't see any good setups in the first one to three hours of the market open, specifically if you trade stock market in the stock market, if you don't see anything in the first one or two hours, just walk away because that's going to save you a lot more in the long term. It's cheaper for you to actually walk away than to make boredom trades. You can set your alerts and just walk away and don't even bother just watching the screen when you don't see any good opportunities. All right. So the next rule, the rule number six, don't hold positions through earnings. All right, this is another common mistake a lot of people make specifically if you trade options. This is the worst thing that you can do because you have no edge over earnings. I like to think that earnings is just like gambling because you don't know anything what is going to happen, whether the company is going to beat it, whether they get they're going to have a good guidance, you have no idea what is going to happen in earnings. So you don't want to hold your position, especially as a beginner. And, and even as an as an advanced trader, you don't want to hold through positions unless you already have uh, some type of cushion for the week or the, for the month, because you have no edge at all. You have no advantage. You don't know anything about that trade outcome, right? Unless you have an insider info, which is illegal, by the way. So don't trade, don't hold your position through earnings because it's going to be cheaper for you to not hold through earnings because you have no edge whatsoever, in my opinion, when playing earnings. A lot of the people that I see traders who blow their accounts are usually through earnings. They pretty much a lot of place. We call this a lottery. <laughs> lottery play. This is basically what's called lot of place. And trading is not gambling, guys. If, if you playing through earnings, this is pure gambling because you don't have any edge whatsoever in this place. So please, especially if you're a beginner, please don't don't even bother holding through earnings because earnings can end up really hurting your position, especially if the stock reverses. And if you trade options because of the IV spike, even after the earnings, even if the stock moves your direction because of the IV, your stock options that strike might actually end up losing a lot of its value because of that IV dump. So please don't hold through earnings. Rule number seven, learn to fully let go of your previous trade before you move on and enter into your next trade. This is another crucial rule. I used to make this mistake over and over again, where I used to make revenge trades because of certain thing happening in my previous trade. I used to think that I'm going to do this and this because this certain thing XYZ happened, it might happen again in this and I will just like revenge trade over and over again. What it does is that because I didn't reset my mind fully before moving into the next trade, what would end up happening is that I would get emotionally involved in my trade. And if the certain outcome didn't you know, show itself, I would end up even getting more emotionally hijacked and I would make a stupid mistakes. Please learn to reset after each trade. If you don't know how to do that, then you're going to set yourself up for a miserable outcome. What I like to do is especially if I have a big winners, especially if I make a lot of money, I like to take a step back, either go for a walk, five minute walk outside or do something physical or meditate and reset my mindset and come back stronger. And even if I have a losing position, I like to take a step back, reset, reset my mind and come back with a clear unbiased mind because you don't want to have trading decisions made because you have certain certain thing happened in your previous trade. You want to let go fully let go of your previous trade before you move on to the next trade because you want to reset your mind and come with a fresh mindset. All right. So the rule number eight is focus on series of trades and not just base your judgment on a single trade. This is another common mistake that a lot of amateur unsuccessful traders do because you want to shift your mindset where you're thinking in large quantities, large sample of trades, your next 20 trades, your next 50 trades, right? Because I used to make this mistake again, whenever I make a certain mistake and this 
my edge didn't work out on this specific trade, I used to think that, oh, this edge is not even working. Without even testing it for the next 20, 30 trades, I would just base my judgment on a single trade instead of focusing on the next 20 to 30 trades. If you wanna be a consistently profitable trader, you have to shift your mindset where you think in large sample of trade, large series of trade, not just a single trade. And last but not least, the rule number nine, and I believe this is the most important rule, please hear me out here, every moment in the market is unique which means anything can happen doesn't matter what your edge says doesn't matter what the su supply and demand zone says doesn't really really matter because one person it only takes one person on the other side of the screen with a big large quantity of size to really reverse your trade and absolutely ruin your trade idea why is this important this is important because most of the time when certain trade ideas that don't work out people blame the market people feel betrayed people feel like a market didn't do the certain things because this pattern didn't work out like we get emotionally involved right when we don't fully accept the fact that every moment in the market is unique we get emotionally involved and you don't want to get emotionally involved you want to eliminate emotion as much as possible and in order to do that you have to fully like deeply with your inner self believe your subconsciously you have to fully believe that every single moment in the market is unique which means anything can happen doesn't matter what your support line is saying what resistance line is saying what the pattern is saying fully accept your loss only all you need to know like you don't need to know what is going to happen because anything can happen right you just follow your game plan you just execute whenever your edge your opportunity presents itself and then you identify your stop loss and your profit target and you just get in without getting emotionally involved and this is what it takes to become a successful consistently profitable traders they have this certain mindset right because a lot of the times beginner traders they study the markets the technicals analysis and all that kind of stuff but they don't study themselves they don't master their mindset once you master your mindset and you think from a place of probabilities and you fully accept that anything can happen right that's when you actually end up being a successful, consistently profitable trader. So with that being said, these are my nine rules for day traders. If you are a day trader and having certain type of issues, please comment down in the description below and I will try to help out as much as I can. But keep in mind that I am not an expert by any means. I'm not claiming it. I just want to document my journey as a stock options trader on this channel. So if you want to see more videos on trading related content, as well as finance, investing, make sure you guys subscribe down below. I will be posting a lot more videos just like this one and also smash that like button because it really helps my YouTube channel out. Thank you guys so much again. Good luck with your training journey and I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.